in Focus. I'm Mu Jo Lin. Our guest this week is Vice Chancellor Nathan Brostrom. Vice Chancellor Brostrom has served at Berkeley since 2006 and advises the Chancellor on financial planning and the budget. Previously, he served in the California State Treasurer's Office as well as a Managing Director at J.P. Morgan. I spoke to Vice Chancellor Brostrom about the state budget crisis and its effects on undergraduates. Welcome to In Focus, and thank you very much for being on the show. Thanks for having me. Okay, so uh, we'll start off with uh, my first question, which is we've often heard that the state of California's revenue stream is much more volatile and much more correlated with the economic cycle. So what is at the root of this problem? Well, a lot of it has to do with um, uh, the way the, um, uh, the state's revenue base is built. Uh, we're very, very dependent on uh, the highest income uh, brackets and personal income tax. And so there is a um, huge fluctuation with the, um, uh, the state of the economy. Uh, property tax, which tends to be a more stable uh, revenue source, uh, is largely capped because of uh, Proposition 13. And so as a revenue source, for municipalities in the state, uh, it doesn't um, uh, uh, it is not nearly as big a, a percentage. Well, just related to the budget, um, Governor Schwarzenegger has recently proposed a system-wide 9.3 percent hike in student fees. So, what considerations are weighing in on discussions about uh, this hike in student fees right now? I mean, the, the biggest thing is just making up the, um, uh, the budget shortfall that we have. As you may know, the, um, uh, the governor imposed a, a, what turns out to be about a $15 million cut on UC Berkeley for the 08-09 uh, budget year. Uh, beyond that, we have a huge amount of expenses. I estimate them at about $35 million in terms of unfunded expenditures. Uh, student fees um, uh, of that magnitude would represent uh, close to a third of that. And so we still have to identify other things through either additional revenues or uh, uh, permanent budget cuts uh, to meet that shortfall. Well, on the subject of expenses, uh, one of the concerns students have right now is the cuts in teaching staff, especially graduate student instructors. So um, in the future, what, what further changes in discussion sections can students expect? Well, actually, the, the, the Chancellor and the, and the Provost and I have decided that uh, uh, maintaining the core undergraduate curriculum is the highest priority in this, in this coming uh, budget year. And in fact, the Provost has already announced that he's going to um, actually maintain or even increase the temporary um, uh, academic support uh, uh, for the coming year, which is where GSIs and other uh, non-tenured lecturers are, are coming from. Well, I'd like to focus on the campaign for Berkeley right now, which was unveiled in September. And uh, just so our viewers um, can remember, it was a plan to raise $3 billion by 2013. But since September, there have been monumental changes in the financial landscape um, on Wall Street and across the nation. So is this 2013 deadline still viable, and um, is it still attainable? Yeah, we think it is. I mean, clearly, the um, uh, I mean, the the, the the seismic changes in the um, uh, financial landscape have had a, a really uh, ter terrible uh, impact on the campus, uh, primarily through the um, uh, endowment. I mean, our endowment went down about uh, 25 or 30 percent. What has not gone down is fundraising so far. So far, our fundraising has actually held pretty strong. And in fact, the first six months of this fiscal year were the second highest um, uh, fundraising um, uh, six months uh, uh, ever. And so um, obviously that is uh, still uncertain, and we don't know what the uh, coming year is going to look like. But uh, so far, our donors and supporters have recognized um, uh, the value of giving to, uh, to Berkeley. Well, Vice Chancellor Brostrom, thank you very much for this interview. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. And that does it for this week. Special thanks to Vice Chancellor Brostrom for joining us. Come back next week when we'll be back in focus.